Today's name of Jesus is Cornerstone. Do you guys know what a cornerstone is? It's a stone that forms a base of a building. Now this stone joins two walls together. It's the first piece that put down that everything else is built upon it. It's foundational. You need this cornerstone to build a building. And that's why Jesus is called the cornerstone. We need him. We can't get into heaven without him, right? Our faith exists and everything about our faith is built upon this stone. Now, the scripture that we are reading today out of Luke 20 verse 17 said, Jesus looked at them and said, then what does the scripture mean? The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. Now, he was telling this story. See, at the time, the the Pharisees, the religious people of the day had come and they were just, you know, they were trying to get at him. They were trying to see him mess up in some way because they wanted him gone. And so Jesus turned to them and he told them a story about a man who owned a vineyard. See, he planted this vineyard, he owned this vineyard, and he decided to rent it to other farmers. Well, the owner moved to another country and he lived there for several years. But it came time to harvest the grapes, so he, the owner sent one of his servants to collect some of the grapes. But the farmers there that were renting the land beat him up and they sent him back empty-handed. So the owner decided to send another servant. But then they insulted him. They beat him up and they sent him again away with no grapes. Well, the owner decided to send a third man. Well, this man, that they wounded him, they hurt him, and they chased him away. The owner said, well, what do I do? He had an idea. I know, I'll send my cherished son, and surely they will respect him because he comes in that authority of the owner. But when the renting farmers saw this owner's son, they said to each other, oh, here comes the owner's son. Let's kill him. And then we'll take the whole vineyard for ourselves. So they dragged him out of the vineyard and they killed him. What do you suppose the owner of the vineyard will do to them? And Jesus said that I tell you that he will come and kill those farmers and lease the vineyards to others. How horrible that such a thing could ever have happened, his listeners protest. And this is when Jesus looked at them and said, what did the scripture mean? The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. That story, if you didn't catch it, that story, the owner of the vineyard was God. God the Father sent his son, Jesus, to, to save the people, to, to, to help them, and they rejected him. They killed him, right? The death on a cross. And Jesus said that now you rejected him, but now he's become that cornerstone, the center of our faith. What everything is built upon this cornerstone. Because guys, we cannot have a building without a cornerstone. We cannot get to heaven without Jesus. And he has become that cornerstone, what our faith is built upon. Amen? Amen. So tonight, or today, whenever you're doing this, your activity is to build a house all together as a family. You can build them with Legos, blocks, magnet tiles. Hey, it's the Christmas season. You could even build a gingerbread house. But make sure that you start it with the cornerstone, just like our faith is started with that cornerstone. Okay, guys, have fun with this activity. We'll see you tomorrow.